So today we're going to talk about modeling decimal subtraction. Say I have 1.53 minus 1.41. So using our 10 by 10 grids, it looks like I'm going to need two full squares to start. And sometimes if it's given to you, it might just give you two full 10 by 10 squares. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I need to go down 10. Uh, if you know anything about measurements with your rulers, uh, 10 of these blocks equals two and a half inches. Complete my two squares. And now I need to identify my total or starting amount of 1.53. So I have this full one right here. And then I have 5 tenths. So let me make sure I draw 5 tenths. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then I have three one hundredths, three one hundredths. So I'm going to draw three little boxes. One, two, three. So the rest of this I'm not using. The rest of that I'm not using. So now I want to subtract 1.41. That means I have to get rid of one hole. Well, here's one hole. So I'm going to use a different color for this. I'll subtract one hole. And then I have four tenths I have to get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of this tenth, this tenth, this tenth, and this tenth. And then I have one one hundredth that I have to get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of this one hundredth. Okay. So what's left? Well, all that is left is this one tenth. So that's point 0.1, and I have two one-hundredths, so I put a two in the hundredths place. And so my answer is point 0.12. If I were to look at my place value, I have the ones, the tenths, and the hundredths. And so I should be able to do the math with this. Notice I have 3 minus 1. I have 5 minus 4. And I have 1 minus 1. And that gives me, we always start to the right when we subtract with our numbers, 3 minus 1 is 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. Here's my decimal, and 1 minus 1 is 0.